presentation with us today. Hi, Supriya, how are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So, Nagana Goda, sir, you are there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Th thank you very much, sir. I, I'll do one thing. I have a very quick and small presentation on few startups. Of course, both of you are there. So, um, and I supported we which made difference immediately. I'll get into both of you where you can talk about your ventures and uh, I'll make a quick uh, Q and a session with everyone. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome back to uh, post lunch or post break session. One second. Hope you can see my screen. Yes, see, uh, as Sarunan sir mentioned in the morning, managers organization as in the past five years has supported startups at various levels. So a quick uh, glance of the numbers, what we have done in the past few years, especially under Raftar. So far, we have supported more than 550 startups through training or mentoring or funding at various levels. Out of which under RK Raftar we have incubated 218 and startups, of which one or six startups are funded uh, for six cohorts so far. So for 10.70 crores worth of sanctioned grants. So I'm going to talk about few startups uh, which are doing good work. It doesn't mean others are not doing, but uh, some of them where you can relate easily. So uh, Sari is here already. Eco entrepreneurs by so this I'm not going to cover much because Sari is going to do it. To put it simply, Sari is encouraging Nagana Goda is encouraging farmers to go residue free farming so that uh, is educating farmers as well as uh, working for the health of uh, consumers like you and me. Our own uh, Karnataka from Davanagere, and one more thing is agri graduate like you. And then we have a. Uh, Mr. Tarang Patel from Pune. So irrigation is extremely important, especially when the resources for uh, in the irrigation water is very scarce. This is where the uh, intake harness uh, uh, comes into the picture where he has made a patent granted IoT enabled device where farmer can automatically control just by using his mobile phone, switching on, switching off and other functions of his uh, uh, motor. That's, that ensures the uh, optimum use of uh, water at the same time, uh, increasing, helping in increasing productivity. We have uh, Supriya with us here today, who is a co-founder of Gramworks, along with uh, uh, his brother Gopal, they co-founded Gramworks. So Supriya is, uh, looks into uh, product development and uh, other related features. So it's IoT based uh, device which works based on uh, artificial intelligence. They gathered a lot of data, huge amount of data. They've done a lot of work working with meteorological department, agriculture universities, startups, and everybody. They have a unique algorithm which analyzes uh, real time farm data. Even we they come to our Bagal court also for last year. So they even demonstrated how their application works for a grape actually. It even showed the kind of diseases it was having actually. That itself shows the kind of, I mean, application it is where data driven patient support systems are extremely important for the farmers. So we have Marth drone track out of Hyderabad. Marth is basically into using drones for multiple purposes. So, for example, during COVID, they've used for a delivery of medicines, they used for afforestation, for a distribution of seed balls. Whereas in our case, they're using drones for uh, services, especially uh, spraying of the fertilizers. They even working on a seed sowing also, but still at experimentation stage. It shows that kind of opportunities it offers for startups in the sector. There is no limit. And we have SNRI systems. So recirculatory uh, systems for a uh, Fisheries, you can see the box, blue box here. The very limited space, uh, they can uh, grow close to one to two tons of the fish. In healthier environment, 
at the same time increased oxygen levels where it helps the farmers to uh, increase product productivity by multifold. So we have uh, Mr. Shamlal Sheshi working on Budmore Agro Industry. It is also for uh, allied sectors where they are working on a smart farm management tool where uh, it controls feed, temperature, so our uh, aeration, circulation, filtration, multiple systems for uh, allied sectors uh, related to swim for uh, fish related uh, ponds internal as well as uh, outdoor ones. So we have uh, one more startup from Karnataka Samudra network, which connecting farmer groups, which digitizing through their mobile application. So they are even kind of been providing marketing linkages also. We have Northeast farm sales promotion where they're working as a marketing company for providing updates to providing processing facilities in a better packaging form and selling various northeast based indigenous products and reaching to uh, uh, offices of uh, ambassadors in other countries also that kind of work uh, mr banu pratap is doing uh, in the northeast region these are just to show some of the examples it shows the plethora of opportunities, not limited to a certain particular sector or a group per se. So I mean, that itself shows that uh, what kind of opportunities agriculture sector offers for startups. With this, I'll end my uh, session here. I'll move forward. We'll uh, start with our uh, session. So next half an hour, probably we'll go in a 10, 10, 10 format. Nagana Godasar and Supriya will take 10 minutes each. The next 10 minutes probably will engage in a, a question and answer session through charter directly. So with this note, we welcome our own Nagana Godasar. Yes, sir, please, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Okay, okay. We cannot hear you, sir. That's the reason. You try to remove the headset, remove the headset sir. Am I audible now? And now it is good, sir. All good. Good to go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, thank you, Ibra, sir. And uh, good afternoon to all participants. Uh, so, just I'd like to briefly highlight what we are doing and what we have done in the past and uh, uh, what are our plans for the future. So, you know, so I'm, I'm representing a startup company called uh, Eco Agripreneurs Private Limited. Uh, so, it was supported by managed under uh, RKB by Raptar. So we have got funding as well as uh, technical backup from uh, Manes. See, basically we are a group of uh, seven agri graduates uh, who started this uh, startup uh, during uh, 2017. Our core activities are promotion of sustainable agriculture. It is nothing but uh, production of residue free food. Then uh, agri input services. This ensures uh, quality inputs for the farmers. So we are also into contract farming for hybrid seed production and also agri consultancy right now our reach is around 8000 farmers this is our this is our uh, direct reach so indirect reach is about uh, 20000 farmers we are working with uh, almost 5000 uh, seed growers so we are covering uh, 15 different crops in different parts of uh, karnataka it is through contract farming see the reason why we entered seed, seed production is uh, there the exploitation by the Organizers are middlemen is too high. Farmers, uh, they charge both the interest and also they charge the inputs at a higher rate. So we have maintained all accounts through soft copies in the sense that tally, everything is transparent for the farmers. So farmers are benefited at the same time, we are also gaining a lot in this production activity. So coming to the crop consultancy, so this is more important for the uh, young graduates. See, most of the graduates after completion of their degrees usually look for jobs. So I was not an exception for that because in the initial stage, I was in need of money. Later on, so when I realized that crop consultancy is most important for the farmers as well as for my profession, I shifted from MNC job to this consultancy. So I'm covering a lot of crops starting from pomegranate, arecanate, vegetables, many commercial crops as well. So I'm also an expert consultant for one German government supported project called GAZ. So that particular project is focusing on potato value chain. So our core activity is the production of residue free food, whatever may be the 
crop, be it rice or vegetables or any other uh, uh, grains, we are focusing on producing residue free. That means residue compliant also we can say it. It should be safe to the consumption for human beings as well as for animals. Uh, so right now we are a team of around 40 people. We started with four in the beginning year. So it was not much in the beginning year, but as we as we progressed, our financial growth has also increased. So we started our business actually in the year 2019. Uh, there it was only 0.68 crores in the uh, first year, whereas uh, during 2021 we crossed almost 20 crores uh, in our turnover. So the projection for the next year 21-22 is around 30 crores because our growth is increasing both in uh, uh, seed production as well as the input uh, sales. So here one important thing about the agri input sales here we do not keep we do not sell any of the red label pesticides banned pesticides and about to ban pesticides uh, non-chemical means if possible if at all if there is a necessity we do suggest chemicals but we always keep a safe harvest period in our mind so this is in brief about our activities and coming to the core activity one more core activity is uh, eco rice so eco rice is nothing but uh, which is a residue free rice. So we started uh, this with one farmer during 2017. Now we have almost 2000 acres uh, under uh, eco rice cultivation. So it is simple. So probably many of the scientists uh, might be in the uh, webinar. So I'd like to highlight some of the things in this case. See paddy, one common problem is stem borer. Uh, there are a lot of pesticides suggested for it. So starting from anyway, some of the banned chemicals like porate, carbofuran, and uh, in the current scenario, also people are using uh, keratop hydrochloride, uh, many other uh, pesticides. Uh, but in my experience, because I, I've been working on the paddy for the past uh, 14 years, so paddy, there will be a stem borer, but crop can withstand it. That means to say, if there is a initial damage by stem borer, there will be an increased killer. This is true. Uh, you can come down to energy, us about this. So we can save easily four kgs, three to four kgs of pesticides per acre in one case. And the second problem is uh, either leaf holder or any leaf eating the caterpillar. Please remember that they do not cause much damage to the paddy crop. Because what we have found in the trials is, so if there is a leaf damage to the extent of 25%, uh, there will not be any reduction in the yield. So these insects will never cross 25%. Uh, uh, area damage in case of paddy. So even for that also, pe pesticide is not required. We have avoided completely two pesticides. Then comes one more important pest in paddy, brown plant hopper. So if you do not apply any pesticides in the beginning stage, there will be a natural buildup of uh, uh, crop defenders or natural enemies, which will take care of uh, BPH. So in my experience, hardly 1% of the fields which are managed without using pesticides are affected by uh, BPH. 99% cases, uh, there was no need for any pesticide to manage uh, BPH. In the, in the sense, if you manage the ecosystem in a balanced way, pests are not a problem in paddy. This is my experience. So, if anyone of you are interested in taking up research, we are also ready for uh, financial support for scientific studies. You can come and uh, observe in the field as well as interact with the farmers. So, we avoided all the pesticides in the paddy ecosystem. And then comes diseases. So diseases, there are importantly two diseases. One is uh, leaf blast and the ne leaf blast, even neck blast, blast is the disease. And then comes sheath rot or sheath blight. See, if you choose any tolerant variety like RNR 15048, so it, it can tolerate both the diseases. So there is even no need for applying fungicides also. That means to say, if you choose a tolerant variety and manage the ecosystem, in a balanced way, pesticides and fungicides are not required for paddy. So if you take any susceptible varieties like uh, BPT-5204, uh, there is a likely chance of uh, uh, disease occurrence. In that case, we use some of the recommended uh, recommended fungicides based on the safe harvest period. So, so far, we have last year, we have, we have made around 30 lakhs uh, turnover in uh, eco rice uh, business. Uh, we are supplying uh, eco rice to regularly customers and some of the exporters as well so hope uh, we are going to continue to do it so and in case of uh, some of the highlights uh, consultancy so i am one of the most sought consultant in this uh, region so even so uh, I'm, I'm i'm feeling proud to say that 
uh, i am one of the consultants for our ex uh, chief minister uh, shri b s uh, edurappa ji's uh, arachnid farm as well and i have visited lot of uh, mla mps and high profile uh, uh, politicians as well as uh, bureaucrats so the reason why i am saying is so if you if you feel that we can make our career in uh, consultancy there is there is always a huge scope but the only thing is we have to be technically competent we have to constantly update our knowledge and the second thing is uh, cons consultancy alone may not work in some of the cases where farmers cannot pay our consultancy in that case agri consultancy with input business can sustain any number of uh, agri graduates this is the last uh, few sentences i would like to say say if you go to any irrigated area so there are agri input shops in almost every big village so they are making 1 to 2 cr uh, grass turnover so if you take even 5 to 6% uh, net margin out of it so any agri graduate can make is that her living comfortable by opening agri input shop and also by educating our farmers so my sincere request is actually some of you joining any jobs you can take up this as an entrepreneurship uh, so it is also a social social entrepreneurship because we are helping society and also we are making our life uh, sustainable so you can help uh, farmers we, we can also save our environment and also provide a uh, safe food so earning 50000 1 lakh rupees by this uh, service is not a big deal nowadays so this is all from my side and uh, so i'd like to conclude by saying i'd like to see many of you in the field rather than working for some mnc sir government jobs thank you thank you very much sir this is such an inspirational journey for uh, agri entrepreneurs especially all our uh, uh, karnataka based uh, uh, students even anybody would like to visit saris in davangere so hope we hope uh, we try to bring them sir and as we informed already next month uh, there's a training program planned physically at bagalkot so that's an inspiration that's uh, sir is an ex prime example of if you believe in a cause and uh, worked and strive hard for a, a, the core area where you you wanted to contribute so nothing would stop you so you don't uh, no need uh, any other uh, motivation to do this thank you very much sir we'll get back to you in 10 minutes once supriya is done so then we'll uh, come back to supriya supriya is here with us is the co-founder of groundworks as just now informed groundwork is iot based smart device with a farm application which is helping all horticulture based at this point of time of course they want to further grow into other crops also so supriya over to you you want but to I, share some presentation no i think i'll uh, talk over it uh, this time sir so um, done 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 super uh, thank you so much for having us uh, sir uh, hi everyone i'm supriya as uh, mentioned uh, co-founder of groundworks uh, we are an IoT and AI enabled uh, smart farm resource management tool that uh, helps farmers with uh, proactive and preventive uh, decision making. Um, we started in 2019. Uh, we got company registered in 2019, but uh, it took us some time to kind of actually uh, get our tech and get our uh, startup up and running. So one of the things here, uh, you know, which was kind of a learning for us is both Gopal and me, we come from engineering backgrounds. We both are engineers and we have worked in multiple different sec sectors on technology side of things. And this is where we kind of had a lot of discussions on, you know, agriculture being one of the oldest industries, but the technology penetration is not very high, especially in India. Right. So there was a huge scope in terms of, you know, bringing new technology and technology penetration. And, you know, why this timing also, right? Uh, you know, Geo had already come out with a mobile, um, uh, you know, with uh, um, uh, mobile and devices and data, which was fairly cheap. And they had already got a really good penetration across India, right? And this is where we would say there was a revolution in technology that happened where technology in India was now available to a huge set of people, which included, you know, uh, uh, farmers, which included people from different parts of the country. So technology in terms of mobile, uh, data internet had fairly well penetrated and this is where we thought it's a great time to kind of start working on something in the technology side of uh, agriculture which can have wider reach which can actually help farmers with uh, decision support so that you know they don't have to uh, just rely on look and feel methodology they can have data to help in making decisions 
this is where we kind of started gramworks and uh, the first thing that we actually did with gramworks when we initially started was doing a lot of small pocs so this was proof of concepts so we had ideas on irrigation prediction irrigation management as an area right because water and weather have a huge impact on the outcome of agriculture uh, it could be irrigation irrigation is very much defined by weather conditions right how much to irrigate when to irrigate that's all very dependent on how the climatic conditions were so this was one problem statement that we really wanted to solve for second problem statement that we were looking at was in terms of uh, disease prediction and disease management again there are many bacterial and fungal diseases that are a factor of weather so can we look at you know understanding weather and area and crop stage to look at certain prediction models for diseases so that we are able to tell a disease is coming you know at the very initial stage so that a farmer can take preventive decisions right even in medicines when we see right preventive is always better than you know uh, a reactive uh, application right so this was a second area which we were very interested to solve for so when we started these two problem statements uh, when we took up these two problem statements we actually started to work with multiple institutes uh, one of the most important ones where we got a lot of support was manage both in terms of uh, grant for doing our research and also technology and information right so we studied over 40 plus years of weather conditions in different parts of you know karnataka uh, andhra pradesh telangana maharashtra all the southern states and maharashtra to build an irrigation model what this model does is to give a prediction of how is the irrigation requirement requirement going to look for the next 7 days uh this weather data then also kind of slowly helped us to build disease prediction models and we focused mainly on horticultural high value crops because that is where we saw initially that you know farmers were willing to kind of uh, you know incorporate such devices and you know incorporate this into their daily usage so we started with grapes we started with pomegranate now we are expanding it to other crops such as banana mango citrus fruits uh, other high value crops as well um sugar cane where there has been again lot of interest lately shown for having such uh, technology so these are some of the areas where we are looking at expanding as we are uh, growing now so in terms of like regions which we work with maharashtra is a huge belt that we are working especially nasik sangli those areas uh the pomegranate belt in north karnataka we have even actually had a lot of guidance from nagnagoda sir in the areas that he is working uh, he has connected us to farmers there we have worked in those areas as well and these are the key belts that we have been kind of working with and we are also expanding in these uh, areas right uh in terms of how many farmers approximately we work with around 3500 to 4000 farmers we have in the last one and a half years of our product moving from the proof of concept stage to actually building a you know product that can be put on farms which can last for long time we have had around 50 to 75 devices installed we are going to 100 plus or 300 plus devices soon by end of this financial year uh um, with the grapes farmers that we have been working with quite a bit we have actually helped reduce irrigation by uh, around 40% uh be because of giving database decision support uh in terms of disease prediction we have ha we have worked with multiple diseases specific to crops for example in uh, multiple regions for grapes again powdery mildew downy mildew are huge issues right so prediction in advance how that can help farmers to kind of take preventive decisions that's also an area which has been growing a lot and great, getting a lot of traction in terms of uh, usage of these modules so these have been some of the steps that we have been kind of taking in the last few years in building this technology uh in terms of building you know a startup building a team uh, because uh, uh sir also asked us to talk yuvraj sir also asked us to talk a little bit about how did we go about building the startup what were some of the challenges etc we had right so for very important things there are uh, you know how do you build uh, how do you one find the problem statement that you can tackle second is building a team and building finding a co-founder that was very important for us because you need for example um, gopal had had a lot of experience on hardware he also has experience and network on ground i came with a lot of software technology knowledge right how to build the product how to build the application the app that the farmers are using that was my area of focus so there we kind of uh, you know had a different skills where we said that it would be a great thing to come together right i also come with a little bit of finance background
background and things like that so those help to kind of build a team so it's very important to have uh, you know a few members whom you can really trust and build a team when you are say setting up on your own uh, second very important aspect i also see in this startup or entrepreneurship journey is looking at networks and incubation for us manage helped a lot in terms of getting a network out there as i said we both we all came from engineering backgrounds but getting that agri knowledge connecting to different institutes uh, we have published multiple papers in fact just last week we were published by un fao uh, for our uh, you know research that we have done on the irrigation management side right so these were all done through connects through uh, manage other institutes such as uh, icresat and others right and out institutes outside india as well so incubation networking it helps a lot to kind of you know expand your uh, reach expand reach out to more people right so that's uh, very important um some of the challenges i would say we had uh, in this journey of course is uh, the pandemic happened right so that changed the way we were uh, working we were initially a lot more hardware heavy we quickly started more on software side because that penetration is a lot faster we saw right so that was something we also changed and we adopted we started first working with only individual farmers then we slowly went to working with fpos and groups of farmers where we could get more traction and more larger numbers as well right uh, in being again as i said we were new to this industry and that's where having this network connecting to people helped a lot in terms of getting the know how and knowledge which is industry specific right so these were some of the areas uh, which were challenges but also helped in terms of you know uh, having these different uh, uh, players whom we could get help from right so end of the day i think you know if i had to just uh, kind of end with in this in this technology what we are trying to do is bringing predictability to farming right so how much of you know variability can we reduce that the farmers is facing be it weather related be it water related make it more predictable and lastly i think for all of you i would say is right uh we all have ideas right if you are thinking of going into this entrepreneurship journey it is all about making it happen so making your idea and making your thought into something uh, tangible and building a product or building something out of it is very important otherwise we'll all just be sitting with ideas so i think uh, that's all i have to say and uh, happy to have uh, chats with anyone who would like to know more detail uh, details about this journey and would like to know more about the technology as well thank you very much supriya uh, for sharing your journey and uh, once again it's the other way so the nagano goda sari uh, star stories one way and their supriya uh, stories are other way one second sir okay so uh, the, with the, who come from the non agriculture background have a passion to do something in the sector they come here learnt all the way and doing uh, from the scratch and doing something for the farmer which can benefit them so combination of engineering and agriculture thank you very much supriya so one most fundamental question sir what motivated to do this in this sector there are a lot of business opportunities there Uh, so why do you want to do this business and what motivated you we both can address one by one starting with naga naga nagoda sir please sir uh, sir actually i am from uh, agriculture background my father is also a farmer so i know the difficulties at farm level because we faced a lot of problems when i was studying so you know i am not an exception to all those uh, lower middle class category uh, students who are now pursuing bsc agri degrees i know the loan i know the pain in paying the interest Uh, for the landlords or whoever lends the money so that was one thing and uh, the second part of it was uh, most of the farmers are uh, misguided i should say uh, by the input providers because uh, unfortunately input providers in india are not well educated and not well trained uh, because if you go to any shop they sell common fungicides and common uh, pesticides they are like paracetamol for all pain killing action so uh, they do not know the cause of the pain uh, but they only treat the symptom yeah? so that is how agriculture was happening and uh, even after completion of my post graduation fortunately i had an opportunity to undergo 100 days residential program on integrated pest management organized by uh, food and agriculture organization of united uh, nations 
there uh, a lot of transfer transformation happened uh, I, I could realize that uh, whatever we learned in the colleges was not exactly happening in the field level so field is slightly different that means practical things are uh, much different than uh, theoretical things then we started applying those things in the field level because i'm working in the field uh, since 2002 uh, for the just information sake culture uh, during 2002 and uh, incidentally i became two, uh, agriculture officer during uh, 2007 i did not join for the simple reason that i wanted to be to be with the farming community so so the first reason was uh, misguiding misguidance by the input providers and the second thing most painful thing was uh, about the food residues see we never talk about food residues if you go to any shop uh, so tomorrow if, we, if the farmer is going to harvest even then also he suggests a pesticide which is extremely toxic as per uh, FAO classification so I, I, I should say most of the health issues that we are facing in the uh, country are all due to pesticide problems so I, I would reiterate the fact that everybody is talking about Swachh Bharat so I still feel Swachh Bharat is more important for India than Swachh Bharat and, Bharat and any other missions uh, the government is propagating. So for Swastha Bharat, we need technical people and we need uh, uh, good inputs for uh, getting higher yields also for the farmers. That was the thing. And uh, next thing was I was working for an NGO called Agriculture and Ecology Foundation during 2005 to 10. So there I was working with one, uh, uh, so he's no more Dr. R. Dwarkina. So he was the first vice chancellor of Bangalore University and also the first director of uh, Karnataka State Department of Agriculture. He was very much passionate about uh, sustainable agriculture. So I was lucky enough to work under him for five years. So after getting this agriculture officer job, so I went to him. Sir, I got this uh, order copy. He said, one thing, Nagana Gouda, you have more things to do to do for the society. Don't join agriculture officer job. I did not even inquire with my family. I said, yes, sir, uh, I'll do it. So that was the inspiration I got it uh, from Dr. R. Dwarkina. Thank you. Thank you, Musa. That was inspirational at the same time, thought provoking for others. Uh, yes, Supriya, please. Yeah. Um, very inspirational, sir. Uh, sir. Uh, very nice to hear that. Um, I think for us, it was uh, a lot about problem solving, right? I think the passion has been looking at the how can we solve problem with technology? And uh, this is where, uh, you know, when we were working in, um, this was in our own experience, we were working with some farmers here in uh, outskirts of Bangalore on looking at what are the problem statements that they face, right? So there were a lot which were continuously coming about uh, weather, right? There's a lot of unpredictability in weather in terms of, uh, you know, how is it going to be? How much is, how does that impact irrigation? How is that impact, uh, you know, diseases, etc. And this was something as a problem statement that kept going on in our mind, right? For us, it was when a problem comes, it is like, how do you solve? How do you solve it, right? So this is where for us, a lot of research started. And then we started kind of actually going through multiple papers to see, okay, what are the things that impact, um, you know, a crop? Uh, how is weather impacting crop, right? Uh, we started collecting data in terms of, you know, weather conditions in this region. We started to kind of understand how could, you know, uh, a different uh, uh, pest predict, uh, pest, uh, how uh, pests and diseases, how it is related to weather, how is irrigation related to weather, right? Be it the whole evapotranspiration, how it happens, um, how is the crop specific evapotranspiration and uh, ETC and all of those conditions happening, right? So we started collecting a lot of information on this area right and then the next thing kind of uh, very logical step for us came is you know how do you convert this into technology that is practical and will be used day to day right so for example i you know taking the very example of irrigation where we have done a lot of research on uh, we know evapotranspiration evapotranspiration is caused by weather conditions right you have temperature humidity pressure all these things that play a very important factor in evapotranspiration now the idea is if i tell a farmer that evapotranspiration is so much some farmers understand some don't right so how can we put it in a very easy manner so that he can plan his irrigation according to actual weather conditions, not just because, you know, um, it, it feels like they should put more water or less water. This is kind of the problem statement solving that actually led us to, you know, build this technology. So for us, when we ask about, you know, uh, why this area, how we kind of got motivated to do this was purely looking at that, you know, this was such a common problem everywhere. 
where you know how much to irrigate when to irrigate right when uh, modi says more crop per drop it's not just about you know drip irrigation drip irrigation is one way to reduce uh, you know amount of water or one way to kind of optimize water but today we still don't tell farmers how much right do i do 10 liters or do i do 15 liters per plant right we still don't tell when do i do today or do i do every 5 days right it is very uh, it, today it is very uh, passed on knowledge from Uh, you know farmer to farmer or neighbors or you know farmers of course have a very good sense in terms of touch and feel and all of those right but science has advanced so much in different other fields right we are able to you know uh, sometimes we just say uh, you have like a, a health monitor people wear like you know fitbit which are able to decide when you need to have some water you know you know your heart rate you know all of these why can't we bring such technology in irrigation uh, in 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 agriculture right and this was i think the motivation and this was what i think got us to you know uh, bringing such kind of uh, advanced technology to the space of agriculture thank you so thank you very much supriya yes yes please so now i request uh, the students uh, we have only few minutes left uh, students to interact so any one question i'll take uh, any of the so this inspiration for uh, women I mean, students also girl students because uh, so despite not coming from this background despite having her own uh, i mean uh, challenges they could make it so it's not just for uh, naganagoda sir uh, there's a one more inspirational journey yes sir please any of the students can raise their hands okay sharwari is asking is i vote and affordable to the farmers okay they are talking about affordability by the farmers can they buy it i vote and uh, we are telling that i vote based there is multiple things are there so uh, if at all it is not affordable for farmers in what way you are planning them to be i mean they make them use this kind of a device you can address these things sir sure so uh, yes iot and ai itself as a technology is expensive right in any field be it agriculture or outside it is not uh, cheap in terms of how how do we kind of take it up right um, how do we take it to the last mile to farmers also who cannot afford uh, if you all have um, you know studied a little bit of business and things like that you would have seen this model that was introduced around 90s which was the sachet right if you know now buying a bottle of shampoo versus buying a sachet there's a huge difference right there are not many who can afford the full bottle but there are many who buy the 1 rupee 2 rupee sachets right and this is where we are now kind of slowly working to this model where it is a shared model right iot device which is taking all the weather parameters can cover a fairly large area right almost 5 km uh, radius can be covered by this so this is where we are kind of trying to do something where it is a shared model uh, uh shared model in terms where a device is placed and multiple farmers use this and then farmers actually pay very little for using this information using the analytics that they get right so that reduces the cost in terms of for the end farmer of course the base i will say is that you know today unfortunately with our technology we are not able to go beyond farmers who don't use mobile applications at all for us that is a base layer so when we kind of classify or you know we do a user persona of our farmer it is a farmer who at least uses whatsapp right he may even just do voice message or something but he or she at least uses whatsapp so that's the base for us that today we are able to target in terms of farmer thank you supriya any any other question from the students we will take one more Sir, I have a question. It will be easy to ask me over the mic then or message. Okay, Tushar, we are going to turn you. Yes, Tushar, you can ask. Uh, so, uh, very good evening, ma'am. Uh, very inspiration and as well to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am, sir. So, ma'am, a question to you. Like you said that time, it uh, your company is almost it's like a partnership, right? With you having a specific experience in the field of software and your partner with the, uh, in other aspects. So. like uh, your uh, company you can't rely on only friendships and other personal relationships to start, start a company right so what will be the best place or like a best uh, platform in where you can get a partner which you can rely on based only on a professional basis so because you can't rely only on friendship because i i think uh, i think before supriya answering that uh, 
i think that's where uh, manager uhs kind of people get into the picture the organizations are incubators universities that's where generally people who are from not from agriculture background want to have a connects we first thing manager would be able to help directly at the second thing you will be able to connect with the startups or farmer groups on the ground just like in case we were having so nagana gaudo sir and uh, uh, gramworks uh, supriya uh, gopal they never knew because they are from two different batches if you take out manage connection out of them probably it would take years to get them to reach so i think that itself is a live example i would uh, i would request you also to add some point to it sir please Yes, yeah, I can add them. one one point. Surely, I would say is uh, yeah, what Ivrat sir said is very very true, uh, right? So these kind of places, uh, incubation centers, uh, right? They're very good for networking, um, right? I think in the last one and a half two years, a lot of our job, of course, you know, we're building tech, but a lot of our job is also meeting uh, others in the same area, trying to network, trying to find out. Uh, you know what they are doing, and then this kind of helps build, you know, uh, somewhat of a network. As you said, um, friends and family. If you have someone from there, you can trust and you can work together. That that's the ideal way because that makes you know the uh, makes the thing much faster to get started. But these are areas which are really helpful because, as I said, like uh, we got connected to Nagarwara sir. He helped us introduce to so many more farmers. Right, that really helped and. these are platforms there is ti in bangalore right there are multiple such incubation platforms and uh, uh, areas that really help in this so it's very important to you know be a active member of um, uh, these platforms yes sir one last advice for our student here today from both of you sir please nagana god sir and uh, supriya uh, see uh, to to begin with maybe being lay is okay but if you want to do something if you want to be significant in the society you have to be on your toes so to do that you need to do a lot of hard work see for a consultant like me i'll be almost like 24 by 7 uh, most of the times i'll be walking almost 6 to 10 kilometers per day in the fields that is the kind of hard work you need to do uh, if you want to establish in the uh, beginning but if you do it in the beginning i am damn sure that uh, so you can get maximum benefits financial benefits and uh, apart from benefits you will be satisfied to the core and you will be satisfying many more people in the society so that is how so there are scope for uh, agri agri graduates to become social entrepreneurs thank you supriya please yeah i think um, i would just say that you know uh, kind of time is limited so you know don't waste your life living some uh, life living someone else's life so make your dreams happen and you know make sure that you at least try try once in life uh, in terms of entrepreneurship um, i think day jobs and you know jobs are always there uh, but entrepreneurship has its own uh, challenges it takes a lot more uh, from a person to be an entrepreneur so do try it at least yeah thank you thank you very much for joining us so hope it inspires our students here today i hope uh, they'll make something out of it so and uh, we'll be sharing their uh, details mail ids and contact details kindly contact them through messages and uh, take their time if at all you want to talk there are multiple questions are coming and i want to become a consultant i want to start all those things whenever they, they have time they will talk to you definitely meanwhile you can mail them we are going to share the mail ids so if they find it is interesting definitely they'll contact you Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for being here and uh, you, taking your time out for the Thank students. You. I hope this is the this is the worth buying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, Supriya and Nagana Gaudi sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this note, we welcome our next speaker for today. Banu sir, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? Yes, Banu sir, all good, all good. Good, good, good. So uh, we, today we uh, we come to the last session for today. we are here with us uh, banu prakash uh, sir who is a co-founder of gray logic is a angel investor himself is a alumni association head of indian institute of management uh, bangalore he himself is, he himself is an investor and serial entrepreneur so urban kisans one of the early investors 
So uh, on top of everything, he supports uh, startups, especially students, to get into entrepreneurship, to encourage them, he gives the boost. So, uh, sir, over to you, sir. We are here with the yeah. students of uh, University right. of Bagalkot. Students here with us today. We hope uh, they'll be seeing you also once you go there. Please, sir, over to you, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Yuraj, uh, and everybody here. Good evening and uh, good evening to all. So, how can I share my deck? Uh, I can just go back and say there is a share button that. called share in the below, yes. sir. Yes, Next yes, to yes. video. You yeah. click that. Then okay. on the left hand side, you can click screen. Screen. Yeah, screen. And okay. then click share again. Okay. Yes, I can see your screen now, sir. You can open the presentation. So how many people are there totally? We have 90 plus are there, but there are the two, three places where they're sitting in the classroom. So we can make it 150 to 200, sir. Great. Fantastic. So... So can you all see this screen right now? Yes, sir. We can see it, sir. All good, sir. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Uraj. So to welcome all, uh, to all of you, when I'm sure lot of sessions have gone through that you might have discussing as it across so i leave some time for all of you people to ask some questions to me a little later uh, the light is very dull you can't see my face i'm not handsome like you raj so you have to excuse me and also my makeup man has not come today so my so i i will be able to not see so anyway <clears throat> um, so just give a little background um, I am Bhanu Prakash Reddy. Uh, basically, I am a chemical engineer. Then I went to my IIT Mumbai. Then I am Bangalore. I am the alumni president. And uh, I also work with the T here, but with the startup ecosystem, as you rightly mentioned, I am also on the board of manage. Um, I I like love to you know interact with most of those uh, startups who are actually into the agri space for one reason because i have a lot of passion towards it so most of the people like you are all startups i have not uh, seen you but i want to meet you in person so that i can spend more time with you all of you people one on one i'm basically a person interactive person with one on one i'm more comfortable actually this webex put me a little down but there's no choice you know we have to live with the things now today we're going to talk about how to skill you know the most important uh, Today's uh, in life is you must be hearing about 100 unicorns, one or one unicorns, you know, you all, I don't want to get into unicorns. You must be knowing what are unicorns. You know, there are companies from, if you ask me a question, agri tech companies also have been to unicorns. So next time when I meet you guys, you should be ready with those unicorns on the agri tech business. They have done fairly well, actually. Now, end of the day, this startup has got us beauty into this because if we don't, uh, eat food you know we don't give, give food to the people they will die actually the water food and all the things are very important and we are one of the most important space we are into and uh, we need to understand the skill you know we all think that sometimes when we come and start working in different companies and uh, start working with many things so we all think that we are very smarter and we are we think that we have you know we know everything across but uh, when you start your own company you may be in ibm you know, Microsoft or some place, <coughs> you have been into the system of ecosystem which they have built up. But when you went into a company, you start your own company, everything looks new to you. There's a lot of confusion, you know, chaos around the place. And um, you must be thinking about, you know, how is that other companies are growing faster, moving faster, and I'm not able to scale myself. What is that skill that I require? Am I missing because I'm so intelligent, you know, uh, how to speed up your startup so i have little slides that i've made uh, i may have to run quickly because um, the time is very less i leave some questions to you and uh, we take it forward so as i mentioned to you uh, my education background and i also am I'm, I'm also a phd student from bits pilani from the strategy management and uh, i basically like to understand you know in the overall way a uh, lot of startups that have done, I've taken a company to IPO, 
So I'm starting in, uh, I'm able to talk to you because I've been there. Uh, I've been to those world where nobody were there to support me. I have not come from a family business background, but I have taken a company for a public issue. Uh, that's called Bartronics, the barcoding company, tech company. So I went back to US and when I came back here, you know, I started uh, in the education sector, into agri-tech, uh, supporting and, you know, investing, um, interacting with them and uh, many other companies that I've been there. And uh, I have a software company that is my primarily job that I work across. That's just to give a little background. Uh, I'm on the boards of many companies that I work with them very closely, chosen that I need to put my uh, two cents wherever I can do it. I can only try to add value because my experience can give little bit of source of way for you people that this is where you're going wrong. I may tell you, but you know, end of the day, you are the kings actually, but I may suggest you what to be done there actually. So what I don't want, you know, all that startups, you know, you start up a venture that's initiated by your founders where you are all the founders there right now, sitting there right now, working on that actually. Uh, you know, you like to see what are you trying to do actually? Why did you start a startup? You know, because you had an idea or you had a problem that you wanted to solve or you had a problem something that you can do something greater, better than anybody else or you want to be different or maybe, you know, I, I want to execute in a different way. Maybe this is not the product that I want to do it. Maybe this is what useful for the farming community. Maybe this is a technology that is used across. Maybe they have not done it across you. I have read in the textbooks. This is not there. So if I do it very well, it may happen. Hey, I have read this somewhere in Netherlands or in Singapore or you know countries where the farming has done very well. Israel is doing a great job. Why are not they implementing it in India? We are such a great population. You know, uh, world may itna bada population hai. We have to feed so many people. And slowly all the farming community is going to become a real estate and I have a problem here. So I want to solve this problem and use more tech into this actually. That's how these agri-techs are coming up. So everything that you talk about it today, it's called med medical tech. Med medicine is not over now. Med tech, health tech, edutech. So all tech are involved. Now what is that happening? Why is that tech is word used? Because if the tech actually is making me to connect it, I'm talking to 90 people or XYZ number of people here whom I have don't know, no idea where you guys are sitting. Yuvaraj was mentioning me that you're sitting in some place, some corner, but I'm able to connect you, all of you guys. In in a, in a second, you want to know something, you can learn something somewhere else. You want to know something, Bhanu, you can just have to Google search. You know, you want to do something about Urban Kisan, you can Google search. You can talk about something, Grey Logic, you can talk about. So the technology is actually opening up the window to all of you across. So you have come here to solve some problem. So there's an opportunity and impact that you're going to create in the industry actually. So this is what you're, uh, you come with some vision and mission, which is very important, okay? To, you know, that's how the, uh, you wanted to align yourself. That's how you wanted to start up actually. So if you look at this very carefully, uh, this startup, uh, if you, this, uh, this particular slide, you have done it. But you know, everybody asked me a question, you know, why did I make this slide for you people? The question comes here because in you know, a hey, first question is, I want to have funding, 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 funding. I'm sure 90% people who are sitting here, if the number is right, even it's 70, 60, 30, 40, even it is, uh, you know, 10 people, all 10 people will be thinking about when will I get a funding actually. My, I have come here because if I get fund, I'll do a great job. You know, what is the fun? If you get fund, everybody can do a job. If I have 100 rupees, I can go and, you know, go and eat something. If I don't have 100 rupees, I have to earn for that, actually. I want to do something like, you know, I want to go for a vacation. I need a lakh rupee for a vacation, a normal vacation to Goa. It's so much costly for me. I need to earn that money, actually. So these are all things that you start up. So I wanted to make a simple slide, uh, you know, which is what, how it happens. So you live in a future and you will find something missing in this world. You write it down, as I mentioned to you, that idea I've got, you know, something that I have there in my mind. Then you'll come back and say, okay, boss, I'm, I'm uh, come with an idea. And you make a prototype. So stage one, you're somewhere. Stage two, you found that you're missing. Stage three, you'll come on a paper. Now, trust me, stage three is the most important thing in your life. We can talk a lot of things outside. When you go and put it on paper, 
that's how things starts happening you know that's how people fail a lot of examinations they may speak well you know they may not do very well so they must be good speakers actually so writing your idea writing penning down is very important you have to frame those things okay this is exactly i want to do because somebody wanted to listen from you so writing down is very very important and bounce those ideas around your mind is very important so why am i talking about single person because the idea is yours so it is your baby then you will have to make a prototype of that thing whether you want to make an agri you know some food you want to make it so prepare that food and say this is shelf life is six months shelf life so i have done a lot of exercise you've been to a lot of institutes lab laboratories uh, technologies you have used you know you have used so much of things in that chemicals non chemicals you know what i have done a lot of work so make a prototype this is exactly it looks like i want to make a 3d diagram go to 3d labs sit down with those professors talk to the people make that 3d diagram hey this is exactly what i really wanted to make it then you show this prototype to 100 people you know, go and meet everybody hey guys i made this i made this i made this this is the most crucial part you have to be you know running around the place and talk to people do not feel shy actually then come back and say iterate the prototype and until it makes sense and the people come back and say hey this may not work please do take all the people critical ideas or you know critics somebody talks about bad good ugly everything you have to take it it is a time for you when you become an entrepreneur to digest those things into your mindset actually so when you go back and talk to them and uh, this is exactly is what is going to happen so 100 people when you meet maybe but 10 people may like it 90 people say it's a bad idea then come back and do it 50 people may say good idea and other 50 say no but until you take a chance up to 50 60 percent you have to make a chance but you have to build the gut feeling because you need to understand how a customer you know buying get into their shoes and understand now in this process when you are all ready you know that is where you find a co-founder sometimes what happens is two friends together you can start that else you can start it but if you're alone i'm talking about then you find a co-founder so one two three four five six seventh location is a place where you talk about you know the co-founder you know you find a founder now about across then uh, you have to register the company right then you go back register the company and look then you know one two three four five six seven eight ninth is where you look for funding why will people come back for funding the funding at the ninth position i gave here because a lot of people come back with the first idea it's a yeah i want to have got an idea i wanted uh, 10 lakhs rupees i wanted a 50 lakhs rupees i wanted a crore rupee i wanted a five crore rupee so they come with some ideas all this hard work when you show to so many people you come back the people showing people can be your teachers your peer group your your uncle auntie your known people your friends your you know many of them it can be anybody actually then you come back you know once you launch then you launch it when the funding comes you know probably or with the prototype you know with a small little fund that you gather that's exactly what you do a lot of people you know people nowadays are not giving fund they want to see whether how will you raise fund from people that's an art they like to look at from you actually so you go back to your friends that trust you now in this process you have to remember people have to trust you how will they trust you when you stand by your words when you don't change your words when you think very positively when you don't think negative ideas into your mind you don't get into you know gossips you don't get into bullshit around the place like you know changing the things across when you they look at you that you're putting day and night efforts that's where people will like you then launch it then once you launch it across you know follow up with these people again then go back to thousand when uh, people vendors then you know something goes back you know you do it here and okay launch again something goes back again yes they're coming back to you understand who are those customers who are coming back then think about how you are growing across you know how you grow then keep growing keep growing keep growing you know that's how you should start up so this slide is basically for you to understand that the funding is not the major criteria if you have a talent you know there are people there are why is manage why are so many people are talking to you don't we don't have time other people are we what uh, uh, relative to you are we getting any married to any, any of your family members anybody to you no we are trying to encourage the new talent 
we're trying to encourage where you know the in the ecosystem you have to you are building an economy you're, you're in this ecosystem everybody are making money and you're able to build that system actually you're generating employment you're generating good things across that's how the ecosystem is trying to build up actually that's how the countries like china or, you know uh, in israel other countries us they have grown with the ideas across unfortunately uh, india we never spent money in the colleges when you have studied on the research side when you go back you know 5 to 6% to 8% every college billions of money in us they spend on research that's the reason not that you know they have allocated a funding i'm sure very soon in maybe in another 5 years we'll have a uh, research oriented project so that all the students can come back to india and study here because that's very important why do we go to other countries because of that reason edge so i wanted to tell you this is very important point hope you are getting it here so can you hear me yes sir there? all good sir we can hear you sir oh great 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 okay. suddenly we're not able to hear you sir now okay now now once you are done here you now this is exactly where the concept so a lot of people actually forget about the concept and research work so everything that you do in your life have to be a concept a research oriented work so you should look like as if you know you i am taking my baby to school what do you do when you wanted to take your baby you 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 leave your baby to the school bus just like that or your father have you seen how how care they have taken across so your company is like your baby your company is like how you think about your parent how they are taking care of it when you have you know when your baby we can't leave like that so you take care of at the bus stand you know and you stand there until the the baby is taken to the bus you know you talk to them reach or not when they come back you ask your wife or your parent you know father will come back and ask you how is your college better class better you know that is what the bonding is there so your company bonding should be that now this is exactly where you do lot of research you can't just can't go and put your baby into some random school right when you want to go to college you will send so many colleges you will send across so a lot of concept that you do in startups also similarly with the concept onwards and research work to be done who is a competition if you all know about swot analysis you should do swot about yourself strength about myself my weakness about myself opportunities about myself you know then threats are there anything that you should find out s w o t what are your strengths what are your weaknesses what are the opportunities which are there around the place and what are the threats that i can have to face around the place similarly when you get your new idea concept you have to do a swot analysis of the product what will happen if a competition is there and don't get worried you know if swiggy is there zomato is there it's a different world because you need to feed so many people one company cannot do that actually so this is how we need to think about it like you know there are a lot of ola has come uber has come actually you know when you want to vacations you know booking dot has come airbnb has come this is all coming with different concept the approach models are different so their validations are different actually so once you do that the commitment is very important validation is important refinement is you go and think about it hey my idea is good now i am going to sleep over no you have to do some refinements you know do some changes across scaling then you becoming established once you becoming established see i you could look at the path somebody might have asked me why it is not straight line you know you go up and down so you should think in your mind i may go down so don't when you go down don't sulk yaar kuch nahi ho raha koi mil raha nahi nobody is talking to me you know it happens when i started my first company everybody thought i am a mad guy hey kya yaar barcode bhej raha barcode mein lines leke kya karta hai kapde ke upar khali barcode laga scan karte उसके लिए कंपनी शुरू करा एंड आई हैड ऑलमोस्ट यू नो 700 एम्प्लॉइज इन माय फर्स्ट कंपनी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट 19 uh, 2002 आई हैड सो मेनी एम्प्लॉइज इन माय कंपनी देन आई इंक्रीज टू 1500 पीपल पीपल थॉट आई एम अ मैड गाय यू नो बारकोड बेच के इतना लोग क्या करते यू नो सो मच ऑफ बिजनेस वाज देयर सो मेनी बारकोड स्कैनर्स प्रिंटर्स कंज्यूमेबल्स सॉल्यूशंस एप्लीकेशंस टाइम अटेंडेंस एक्सेस कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स you know managements we have done so many solutions in the same barcode area where it can do across then rfid came rfid tax so much of business that we have done but you know what happens in the course business goes down people don't come money will not come back in those times you know i had challenges but today fortunate enough you are very lucky guys only thing is your idea should be great you should be committed to that thing 
people are there behind to support you. Okay. Now, what are the stages? You all know about it, but I am just running through that. This is exactly what I'm going to tell you to all of you. Don't think that, you know, nothing is there, you know, but you should think about how these stages of startup happens across. Like any other growing thing, all business have life cycles. And although many factors, including growth, there are basically some stages are there. What are those stages? Let us understand. And how they develop and what do they do in the software ecosystem? So concept and research, it's very, very important. Please do wrote, write down in your book. You should keep on writing about your research work. Somebody should be doing a market research. And you should also be well equipped actually with the knowledge. Just because an idea somebody leave to know, don't leave to them. Don't think that I am not a software guy. That somebody is doing it. Understand what software is using it to you. Now don't think, don't get into coding across. Even you can do the coding. It's not a great idea. So everybody can think about it, but you understand how it has been done, how much time you can spend. So you have a control about your project, getting control, getting that, you know, uh, authority is very important in a project. You should know every damn thing which is happening in the company, every product, how is it going to happen? What the market mechanism is, what are the logistics in the process? How do the product is getting manufactured? When will it come back? How is order is coming? Which is order is coming across? Who is backing? Who are those vendors who are there across? How much time does it take? Is the customer happy? What is the feedback from customers? What is the customer is talking about the product? You know, what are the negatives the people are talking about to you? What are the people in the office talking about to you? There are so many things. And all these things, you need to, I'm not telling you that you should do everything across. You have to allocate and watch people. You know? That is your talent about things across. That's where the leadership will come into picture. So your concept of the market is very important. Before you do anything else, carefully do research. Your target audience. Ladies ke liye bejne ke kya? Morning breakfast chahiye kya loon ke liye? I mean, this is only food for breakfast. No, this is all time eating food hai kya? This is something that I'm trying to do for the agri-tech, uh, agri ke liye kya? Ye farmers ko bejse hum, so farmers ko itna education hai kya? Ye water ke liye drip kar raha hum. Ye drip ke liye se me kuch pipe phud jata hai kya? Many things, you know, start thinking about you. You have to think like into your shoes. When you wanted to go and buy a shirt, when you want to buy a mobile phone, Forget about that, you know, you want to buy a keychain, you will see 10 keychains here. Yeah? So, you will go and see 10, 5, 10 times you will watch across. Why will people buy your product? So, don't think that people who are buying the products are fools actually. Why will they buy? How will you build that confidence into the people across? No, there are people who have not spent a single money. Also, their products are doing well because they have established it to the market. People do that work actually. Xerox commission be based there. Because you need to go and scan yourself there. You know, a lot of people are there. Nowadays scanning engines have come back, but still documents which are there in the government or other places, Xerox mission still work there because they have established there across. So there are people who have know that these things are being done actually. So you have to be look at that. Now your commitment. Now this is exactly I've been talking about. Here is where your move. The concept of putting your research into practice that is where it comes into picture your prototype process building up a team very very important to kuch bhi karo bhai. you have to build your team even one year partner your co-partner is more than your wife more than your father more than your mother more than your friend or anybody treat him like a friend understand don't get annoyed with him or he is not doing anything else i'm doing everything cross you make it very clear right in a paper Two documents. Ek, mera dos, mera partner, this is what he's doing. No, he is not paid any money. Unnecessarily aage, pura mera personage leke gaya. Don't be on all those things. Get a clarity. Don't be, you know, air pe baat karke, ask him to come and work and you get distracted. Don't do that across. Everything put on a paper. Write agreement copy. Sign. Boss, mein, aap paise nahi laga rahe. Aapka brain mein use karta hu. Aapka time mein leta hu. You're going to spend this time. And we are going to share equal money. Be very honest. And everything will happen. And funding, everything will happen. Because investors, jo aate hai na, they will come and speak to both of you separately. Yeah, I don't believe that fellow. Yaar. My partner is a fool. You know, everything is gone. You know, I don't know. My, my, he is a CEO. No, you have to remember as a founder, you should know everything. They should build your confidence in you. So this is exactly what you should think about it. The initial marketing, you know, some of the world, world, word of mouth when you're launching products, everything is important. Then I talked about validation. Traction or validation is typically the first year startup is exactly what you'll get across. 
पीपल विल टेल यू ये बंदा का प्रोडक्ट अच्छा है यार बुद्ध बिल्कुल बढ़िया है सो दिल थिंक अबाउट दिस दिस गाइज डूइंग अ ग्रेट वर्क एक्चुअली ये हमारा फार्मिंग कम्युनिटी में ना एक सिक्स थाउजेंड फार्मर्स आर यूजिंग इट बेनिफिटिंग फ्रॉम दिस टेक्नोलॉजी दे आर वंडरफुल पीपल कभी भी पूछे तो नाइट दो बजे पूछे तो दे विल कम एंड डू सम वर्क फॉर यू इट इज वॉट यूर फॉरगेट अबाउट थाउजेंड वॉट पावर है आपके पास सो बिल्ड दैट कॉन्फिडेंस विद द पीपल अक्रॉस एंड यू हैव टू से दिस इज गोइंग टू गेट पेड डोंट बिकम मैं फ्री में जाता हूँ फ्री में जाता हूँ कोई भी नहीं काम करते they will all listen to you hello hello bolte everything go back charge money but think about how we want to do it across and you are gaining your first customers and being with them they will give you one customer to obtain a one customer there is a cost so you should think about how much cost is going to happen so you should find out you know how much obtaining customer client so the existing reliable customers who are there their references are more than a billion dollar for you across so remember that across so refinement don't think that you know yaar mai to kara ki fir mai product ko kaam karta i mean you should think about you know refinement stage typically year two mein hota hai yaar people give you feedback you know yaar bahut badhiya aur dabba bada hai aur wo small karne ka nozzle nahi hai small small things you should take receiving and soliciting feedback from the adopters you know and then using your feedback to continue you refining your product or the service तो सर्विस में बोलते हैं सर ये फोन कॉल में अच्छा से इंग्लिश में बात नहीं कर रहे हिंदी में नहीं बात कर रहे लोकल लैंग्वेज में बात नहीं कर रहे अंडरस्टैंड दो थिंग्स एंड मेक दो इंप्रूवमेंट्स इन ऑफरिंग सो योर अबाउट योर कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द एक्सपैंडिंग एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर प्रोडक्ट मोस्ट पीपल एक्चुअली फेल इन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड ईयर दे गेट यू नो जल्दी में गुस्से में आ जाते हैं देर देर फील यू नो डिजेक्टेड यू नो बिकॉज as because you guys have not gone through those stages where lot of uh, 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 we worked at those times actually because you all want faster you never stood in life if you are youngsters anybody here here you have never stood in a line to take a cinema ticket so you know the pain when i was there when i was a kid like when i used to go to cinema theater because my uncle and auntie they used to ask me to go and get a ticket so just for to get 5 rupees you know pocket money i used to take a bicycle with my friends stand in line get ticket them actually so we know the pain of the standing in line now everything is online so kapda karidna food karidna everything is coming back to you so all these of you know technologies are making you lazy and making big money so everything is coming back here. even talking about investors you know puch rahe ki kya kya karta hai everything is happening online somebody can think about it too they have not even met you during pandemic side they gave you 300 million dollars 100 million dollars check nikal ke de diye no not even met personally actually so concentrate on expanding the business opportunities how we can do it what beneficial is across so scaling up so then you how do you scale it this is very very important all failure actually you know ek time pe na do saal ke baad you know they think you know yeah this is very nice you know you should understand how do you scale across which can start your two and third year mein last four years you know for years it will start across you now for the smooth scaling up build scaling mechanisms एक एक मैं कह रहा एक फ्रेंचाइजी मॉडल रहता है एक बोलता है लाइक यू नो एवरी सिटी वी नीड टू एक्सपेंड यू शुड थिंक अबाउट ग्लोबल प्रोडक्ट मैं इफ आई वांट टू बी इन अ ग्लोबल हाउ आई कैन हेल्प अक्रॉस सो देयर आर मेकैनिज्म्स आर देयर लाइक राइट फ्रॉम फ्रेंचाइजी मॉडल्स टू रीसेलर्स रीसेल यू नो री पार्टनर मोड सो मेनी थिंग्स आर देयर सो यू शुड थिंक अबाउट दोस थिंग्स इनटू द मार्केटिंग एस्टैब्लिशमेंट देन योर बिजनेस इज नाउ स्टार्टेड टू मैच्योर इनटू अ थ्राइविंग कंपनी so this is lot of work why am i saying becoming established here because until then lot of work has happened lot of things are there you know lot of commitment from your side has become you become established and don't sleep just because your commitment nahi hota picture abhi baki hai picture abhi shuru hota hai so sales growth is not every day there's a lot of things can happen across so this is exactly what i want to tell you so if you really want to go little more deeper i made couple of more slides how do you scale up so basically when you are a startup until you prove your business model you are scale up when you are ready to prove a model and you are scaling your revenue models that's exactly where you think about you so you are you are in other words product market fit i'm sure you might have learned about this if you are not learned you can go back ask uh, you know your team members Uh, to give you another uh, uh, how to fit this product market fit i don't want to take about that so huge subject itself um, has been perfect scale up actually so this is exactly where it happens and when it comes to funding scale ups can usually provide prospective investors with more validation with minimum valuable product like you know 
you can do it. A trustworthy team is very important. Team is something that you know people have to believe you as a things across. So opportunity you have to see. So this is very important. How do you grow? So my 10% growth, 1000, 100%. Some companies say, hey, next year I'll do 100% growth. People may laugh at you, but there is an opportunity, huge demand. What stops you across? So they all say, no, I want to go 20% jump. I want to do it across. I want to grow people across. So growth and scaling is as a got a big difference. Scaling is one side. Growing is, you know, I'm going to grow in a different way actually. Scaling is I have to think about it. So your mindset should think about there's a big difference between growing and scaling company. So it is not growth and but exponential growth of a startup actually. So to grow simply means to become larger or greater over a period of time. But scale means what? To represent proportional dimensions to increase. How do I scale? 20%, 30%, 40% is what you should think about you. So all these things don't get startup so Amara Kam Bulika because of experience or things across. You should think on a page, okay. This is where I am. This is where I get doubt. Look, this is what I should do right now. So it is up to you people to think where what you should do across. Now how to scale up. So one is I said commit to growth, which I said, you know, scaling up is in order to become successful, scale up. The seed of potential growth won't be enough to flourish. You'll need to properly water the soil. That means, guy, as you sow, so shall you reap. There's a yard, but how how do you take care of it? If you think about that. So, if you're serious about moving your business to next level, there are seven fundamental you need to take care of the startup space. So, what are those seven fundamentals? Let us quickly listen to that. So, commitment to your growth. The first key is desire to make a really you know great one industry to clear entire society claim i could change karno by growth kill which come karno this is going to happen in ambitious entrepreneurs need to be create realistic growth targets so so it's like my parts of person target but no you should be realistic you are eating a low yes i'll make it maybe next year i may expand to uh, Chennai or you know uh, South India, but me my North India town, but me West India town, then central girl, central place my town, then I go to Orissa, you know, maybe I go to North India, there's a huge business opportunity there, a lot of farmer and community are there, this is exactly where I can use it, this is how the set, you know, the communities which are not there, like uh, people, I can go to those countries, so those plants and it has to be very realistic and that you only you can think about it, and so develop plants and concrete actions of how growth will be achieved. When you put on a paper, when you talk to your team, go to your think tank room, war room, whatever you call it, change, think about, listen to people. As a leader, Sulogona is both low, actually they grow 90%, I'm saying 95%. I mean, you can say, uh, uh, I can go a little more higher also. You people don't listen. First is as a leader, entrepreneur, when somebody comes on the market, sir, oh my dude, they, 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 don't do that. I said, I said, dude, bejna, apna packet alag rata. Don't tell, listen to him. So that guy has gone all the way, 100 kilometers and then the business has come back. Take his backup, feedback, make him feel comfortable. Ask him what changes to be done because that guy was there. He was listening to other competitors or he might have known as a, well going, you know, some people might have told something to him. Extract those information out. As an entrepreneur, your responsibility is to do as a leader to work actually. So you need to think about those things, you know, growth targets, develop plans, concrete actions, how growth will be achieved. Aapka kaam hoi hui tarhe na, dekhna paper padna daily, utke, ye agritech mein koon cha kare, ye technology mein koon kare, Israeli mein kya kara, maybe it will not be useful, but you will get an idea when you go and talk to somebody where outside. So now this is where exactly what I think about you. A lot of people when they come back, when you come back to office, don't be shabby dressed. You know, a lot of people I say, as a CEO, as a founder, chappal pen ke, slipper pen ke, you know, come with a shabby dress. No, I will, an employee will work with you, under you, when you are not a great guy, like, you know, well dressed. Tomorrow morning, whatever happens, shabby, gaudy, you know, well, nice dress. You come back in the office, you should look like, you know, visible. people should listen to them, talk to them. You should be, you know, a little early so that they get a discipline. And spend some time. You you get up at 9, 9, uh, 2, 30, 1 o'clock, come to office and shout on everybody. No, you have to be in the morning in the office. Now, those changes have gone right now. 
don't think that you know i become an entrepreneur and i can go anywhere you have to be initially until you set up the entire business for a decade or two decades you need to spend your time into the office across so this is very important people may think fool but it's very important so it takes founder to build a successful business and scaling team if you're serious about it work on your own leadership skills you have to think how do i think go back and listen to this teach people who teach about you know leadership skills go to mentors go and talk to them tell them what the how to what do they think how are they different actually what do they do entirely different actually wo kya karte hai why does they do it why is yuvraj sitting there and somebody else like why directors are sitting at one place in the top across in your college why is it your professor your director is sitting there how did he become a director there because he has gone through all those stages he has seen it across why does people able to tell you they have seen experiences talking to them so you have to you know sap jo software mein banta hai you know who goes to sap not a software guys a guy who is a logistics guy jo department mein baithta hai he will become an sap expert because functional and experience brings them to become an sap expert so you should read books so i both room i am sure 90% here will not read books read books kuch bhi chumma go and read books about in leadership look how did he built actually wo kaisa banaya company sony ko tv ko kaisa bana ke leke people all think about you ibm ko kon leka hai facebook kaisa bana you know mcdonalds you know, there is people think mcdonalds ko burger based hai you know it's actually a real estate company every place where they go there they actually take lease for 25 years and those they have committed the 25 years of land ko they go and keep in the bank and they raise fund actually so they think about across the globe like you know the how many how they have done it and who is the owner the real owner is not the guy in mcdonalds it is a franchisee guy who took and he became the uh, owner of the company actually so look at it how did it happen what is the business can change across danda apna hai apne ko khali product banana aata hai sale karna nahi aata hai so think about your partner should be a sales person not go to a company which does sales for you <coughs> so this is all important so when you read all these books ek aar pagal just spend every day mai ek book padhta hu every day bolta hu ek mahine ko ek book padhta hu i want to spend some time and ye jo groups bante hai ye faltu group mein jaake don't waste your time go to a guys who will spend time jo banda ko matter likho sau mail likhna ye jo who have become you know unicorns or big companies who i am telling you a lady she wrote a letter to grd tata and chun likhi is actually she heard about him and she wrote a letter mai aapko milna chahta hu she said like you know this office people came back called her and said why do you want to meet him? no i wanted to meet him just because wo tata bolte hai group bada company hai so i want to meet her i want to see him what does he do and this man is such a rich man who you know he, he drinks only that rice ka soup he drinks it seems so with a big man i wanted to read somewhere who oh, i want to milna chahta hu so kitna bada tata group ko banaya chuba ji she has wrote a letter you know she got an appointment of course in those days the appointment she bought it for 7 years ke baad appointment mila so she thought she got a letter public pagal hai 7 saal ke baad kon milte hai you know tata group from one year on what they said madam your time is there sir is going to meet you for one for a one hour 11 to 12 o'clock please be ready we'll send a car for you who somewhere from pune car went and picked him and meet jadi tata and jadi tata was waiting at the door to receive this lady so she wrote in a book somewhere after later time she was a teacher she said she was you know flabbergasted she was surprised meeting this man so she met tell me he said he talked about family and he helped her you know she said i don't know what to ask you i came and met and you are meeting me how did you build this company so he told you know how he started how is his grandfather started this business so all those things ratan tata ke pehle baat kiya tha so all these things happened across so don't think that nobody will meet you right five times 10 times go and meet in his office i want to meet you sir 10 minutes ke liye bolo ki kaisa karna hai chahta aap kaise build kare company ko get inspired and you come back and inspire your team actually so this is important so hire the right people very important galti yahan karte hai so galti kahan karte hai ek mama ka beta ko chacha ka beta ko biwi ka brother ko brother in law ko i'm sorry but i want to be very rude here people make mistakes here don't keep these people who don't listen to you 
when your absence may they'll go back and tell hey mera mama aise hi baat karta ghar mein chillata rehta so your whole team will not work properly or hiring the right people talented people are very important which i generally don't do that you know a lot of people do that mistakes committed there are people wife and husband as a part of their working but you know when investors when come into picture they think that you are very uh, you know everything you want to keep it in yourself so dikhta hai unlog ko ki hamara danda business kahi baar na jaane ka so you should to get some investors from people outside partners from outside because you got better ideas agar bv i mean i'm i'm sorry again i'm using these words because if you have own friends or people you know mai ki shabaz deta hu mai aap ko shabaz deta hu so there nobody will be a devil certificate koi nahi rehta so people have to be there board has to get created you have to, to interrupt sir uh, yeah. so we have 10 more minutes left yeah, just yeah. to remind you sir finish finish ka so this is another important thing so collaborate with many people this is again very important to collaboration so collaboration is very important then automation focus technology is very important this is exactly we should think about how do you focus on technology how do you automate how does you get an help what is that you pay easier how do you streamline your operations how do you scale your model is very important so lastly how do you boost your market a marketing kaise boost karte ho what is that business all that you do it we don't make noise nobody will know who you are actually so your return of investment ke sath direct marketing kaisa hota hai word of mouth kaise hota hai inner sales kaisa hota hai you know you should check all those marketing concepts then once you are done all these things make yourself excusable so that your business can run automatically so this is a time when you set up everything relax my sleep ghar ko jaake when i sleep also my company should be able to run that is what you should strive hard that it should be your dream actually so common mistakes will that will keep you start up ever across so improper planning mistaking leadership for management there's both are different not hiring not firing on time postponing the next round you know or ye paise baad mein leta hu ek hi bar aata hai paise when they come back sit down take experience meet them and talk to them and close issues don't be greedy so not being agile so i don't want to leave here but i want to tell you how agile is across okay so how digital economy is changing so don't think that everybody doesn't know farmers also have smartphones now so early movers who made you know how they made the business how did they did across so digitization kya hua india kaisa ho gaya all growth internet growth everything is happening around the place so this is exactly what i want to tell you we are now got you know more than so many unicorns have become i have started urban kisan with lot of population we did a good job we had lot of problems people laughed at us but still we have shown the successful story so this is exactly what uh, is a journey about to you over to you to ask any questions All yours. Go ahead. Any question, sir? So any of the startup have any? Uh, sorry, any of the students have any questions? You can raise your hand, or you can uh, go through chat, or you can unmute yourselves. Yes, please. pallavi pavan ji pavan kumar pavitra would encourage people who are not interacted so far to interact so that we yeah, provide so opportunities don't feel shy yaar don't feel shy you know ek bar once you feel shy you know you will you lose everything good i'm waiting yes, guys please. Yes sir, yes sir. Yes, I can see so many names. Ambika, Amrut, Amulya. I can see names. Arun, Arpita, Bharti, Chandana. Oh my God. Guys, are you? Am I clear actually? I was audible. Yes sir, all good sir. It was. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Anybody? Loud and clear. Don't ask me a question. I'm not going to come to your place. Okay. Sandhya is asking a question, sir. We'll take that. What, what are I... the problems you have faced when during your startup journey, sir? So nobody will link the answer, na? But we we'll keep it short. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, be, nobody believed, you know, until they came, came and saw my product, my solution, my application, what I have done. Because I, everybody said, okay, how is it? 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 How is it?
यू नो बिलिंग में कैसा होता है हम लोग तो नंबर डालते हैं नंबर को टाइप मारते हैं बार कोड स्कैन कैसा होता है सो आई हैव टू गो एंड टेक पीपल कस्टमर्स ऑन माय बाइक ऑन माय कार हायर करके कस्टमर को लेके आता था मैं एक स्टोर में जाके दिखाता था सर ऐसा बार कोड रहता है ऐसा काम ईजी होता है सो आई शू गो बैक एंड शो दम अंटिल पीपल हैड कॉन्फिडेंस आई हैड प्रॉब्लम्स पीपल नेवर बिल्यूव मी बैंकर्स नेवर बिल्यूव मी सो पीपल वो बिल्यूव मी और वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग वो गेव मी my money or my peer groups a banda bhanu kurs kar sakta hai so people believed me so they they bought it then once few customers started coming in until i got a big customer i mentioned about tata right so i met and met tata customer one day as i said sir mai kaam karna chahta hu so tata had called ibm came into india with tata ibm so i went and met them i went and presentation there they thought kya ye banda small company char log bachcho log ke sath kya karta hai apne sath but i built him so much confidence in them ki mai kar sakta hu and i showcased a poc to them very critical point because ek banda tha network mein mai ja ke pakda wo banda ko pakda mai wala i did across yeah some other question came in what is that the family support sir yeah yeah you know at the time i was not married so there was a lot of support but fortunately <laughs> jokes apart mai when i got married like you know when my first company started i was you know with 50 year third year my wife and everybody family also supported me they thought why did i leave this big job but somewhere they saw that you know fire bolta na wo aag dekhte na so they should come back and speak to them wo dekhte and they also supported they also used to go and speak hey mera mera husband wo kaam karta hai but she used to go and talk to people you know my father used to talk to people you know other people across that is what happens you know when peer group mein jab khana khat samay baat kar samay you talk about your product you have to jo bolte na ये वंटर तो बस हिंदी लो इंटरलो गेल ची रच्चा गेल जो वंटर यू हैव टू विन एट होम बिफोर यू विन आउटसाइड एक्चुअली सो यू डू दैट एक्चुअली सो यू नीड टू बिल्ड अ कॉन्फिडेंस सर सर मोहम्मद सकलेन फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर बीदर प्लीज बोलिए सर सर एम आई ऑडिट या या आ सर माय मेन क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस वी आर गोइंग टू फेस uh if we go in the line of entrepreneurship as of, of present day status and at the end of the day we will be losing confidence as everybody will be telling that you will be not successful so how to regain regain that uh, confidence on the next day okay look at the mirror every day think that you are a handsome man in the world you are salman khan or amir khan okay go back and think that confidence levels are comes because when you are confident about your product your solution your application whatever you are doing it when you are confident about those things that this can prove to the rest of the world you keep on working on that next day morning come with different ideas okay my approach is wrong so go back and meet the same person next day sir do din ke baad aapko time deta hu i thought what you said is right this is how i am approaching a model across so everything doesn't matter when you are confident when you are uh, when you are comfortable when you are you and you stand by your word okay jada sir i am sorry i couldn't get your name what is it mohammed saklen sir mohammed saab abhi mohammed saab fail ho gaya to kya karo leave it go back and do your job once again come back to for one year again mohammed gajni saab to uh, rule karne ke liye 18 saal hua usko uh, to conquer over india you know to conquer some other countries you know people you know they keep on fighting across they still keep on fighting it until you struggle until you make it confidence you know airbnb came to in, in the world in the 2008 when the market was down sab jane bole to aap pagal hai bolke bole and uh, 2009 he went they said you are a useless fellow because there is no money in the market nobody will go for a vacation why did you start 2010 again the people said you are a useless fellow but still today airbnb does how much billion i believe some 80 billion dollars or i know what the big number i do not know the number the uh, latest number you can find out What is that coffee shop that you do? Starbucks. People all loved at him. Two hundred and seventy times he went to people. Imagine, you two days for you can't suffer. 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 so all that is that consistent stand by things faith believe then everything will come back thank you so much sir feeling good and motivated thank you so much thank okay. you for your words
Absolutely. Thank you so much. You made my day. Excuse me, sir. This is Trisha Nayaka from uh, College of Horticulture, Mysore. Okay, Chapandi. So, uh, so uh, in one of the previous speaker slides, uh, one of the points was quantity over quality. But hmm. during uh, when your initial stages of your startup, but uh, sir, doesn't it make more sense to start off with more quality at uh, lesser consumer range? Because then you can build your company. What if you uh, like make a, like have a lot of produce, like a big quantity of your produce, and but there are no buyers. So doesn't it make more uh, makes more sense to have lesser quality and more buyers? Okay, this is an unbiased question. So what happened? I'll give an example about urban Kisan. You all know about urban Kisan? Urban Kisan hydroponics. You heard about it? Heard a bit, sir, but not much. So same thing happened when we started urban Kisan. You know, a lot of produce uh, of hydroponics was happening, but was cost to sell into the local market because India was not ready to buy actually. So what we did is when the most produce came into picture, we came with a different idea. We came with you know uh, fresh bowls, you know salad bowls, different bowls. We came back and we went. The uh, company went to sell these bowls to 40,000 bowls in a month from Swiggy and Zomato. So there's always a chance and opportunity to think about to you. So as rightly in the earlier slide, the gentleman who spoke, yes, in initial stages, quality is important. You have to strive, make sure that you make the quality. No, it doesn't matter even you have few customers, you have even two customers, three customers buying from you. You trust with them. Calm karo and people will come back slowly. Once you start building up, they'll come back. That's what exactly in a lot of my points also I was telling you. The customers' referrals are important. Then you get a customer's paid customers to you. Don't believe in all the digital marketing. Jata ho, ten hajar people will come back. They'll come and they'll go away. But you know, the customers, real-time guys who are using it, those are the important things. So you should strive upon those things, those qualities, and too small, grow bigger. That's what they say, you know. In the baby steps, they talk about you. But today, once the tech has so built up so well, in being here, you can go to many places. So think about different models. But quality is important. You know, both uh, that is very important. The first one, which is very important. Think that you are buying it here. When you buy it, we don't think about quality. Why do you ask those questions? I mean, I'm not talking here right now, but I'm just telling you. When you want to buy something, you'll go for quality, right? So you think that way, actually. You know, in a positive note side. Yes, sir. Yes. Did they answer question? Sir, because in that slide it said quantity over quality, so I had a little confusion. So no, no, now, no. So what he says, like you know, in the, if I'm not, if I'm right, what he's talking about to you is, don't think about you know producing more huge quantity. Quality also is very important, which is very. If I'm right, he says quality is the first top priority over the quantity. As an entrepreneur, you should try to achieve about that actually. Automatically things will start following there. Yes. Got it. Anything else? Last question. Feel free here. You should be shameless to ask questions. I do not know why people are you're all shy actually. Don't think English, Good English evening, Telugu, sir. Marathi. Feel shy. You should never feel. First thing, before I close down, I want to ask tell all of you people. Who Baju wala Tell me the other guy will not know anything at all. I used to always think earlier, you know, when I used to be in the meetings, I used to wait, you know, so I had so many questions, right? I don't know. I used to get butterflies in my stomach. And by the time I used to come out, I used to go and meet one on one. He said, why did you ask such a beautiful question in front of everybody? Then I realized it. No matter what it is to you, whether you know English or anything like that, just go and jump and do it across. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, sir, in the initial days of uh, the startups, what are the precautions and what are the minutes, measures you have taken? Minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell me again. Uh, sir, uh, in the initial days of uh, your startups, what are the precautions and uh, what are the measures you have taken to uh, control uh, the startup? Focused. I was focused actually. First thing is I was very focused. What I want to do, I was focused and I was strategically and I want to do everything legitimately right, actually. Nothing wrong. People said, yeah, you barcode stickers, na. you go back and dabbe me jake non-stick jo nahi hota hai, use less ribbon cost, that guy is not paying money. I want to know. I'll go and fight with that guy. Sir, I purchased this ribbon 
which I want to print at a higher cost. What price you have given me is a lesser price. I showed my bill. At least I need to make 15% out of this margin or else I cannot feed my people. Initially, they said, no, you made a mistake. We released the purchase order. But the confidence that I went and spoke to them, I did my work and all those things. When other companies were failing, they saw I was so standing in front of them. They felt this guy is very honest. This guy is whatever is doing it. Whenever they used to call, I used to lift the call. You know, these people used to feel confidence. They used to shout at me, sir, don't worry, I'm coming. So I used to go even at night, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I used to go to their stores, at the office, printer, and I learned during course of time. So people have had the trust in me, actually. So that's exactly what I built trust in the entire life. Thank you, sir. Anything else? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your, your uh, inspirational words and uh, sharing your journey. Uh, we would like yes, to thank yes. you on this occasion, sir. Yeah, love to meet all of you guys once again when I come in. Yes, sir. We are planning the third week of July, yes. sir. We will uh, update you with the details. Thank you very much, sir. And I want to thank all the people who have had patience to listen to me. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Uh, we would like to uh, welcome uh, our director, Agriculture Extension, Dr. Sharan Ra, sir, uh, to share his uh, remarks as well as uh, take uh, validatory forward, sir. Sir. We take a few feedbacks, sir, that will be better, no? Uh, students are yes, really morning onwards, sir. Better we will take some feedback, no? Then we will, yeah. Sure, definitely, sir. That's what, sir. Sir, good afternoon, sir. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? How are you, sir? Very nice meeting you, sir. Yeah. Nice to see you, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. I would like to take feedback. Arpita, can you please share your feedback, Arpita? You can unmute now. We have taken out the option of Arpita. Is there anybody? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Arpita. Uh, so thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Ready, sir, to uh, to uh, uh, give us. Uh, oh, हमें उनका बहुत अच्छा experience, उनका life का journey हमें बताए. ये बहुत अच्छी बात है हमारे लिए कि हम लोग उनका startup business कैसा था हमें पता चला. So thank you, ready, sir. Uh, once again, I am telling, uh, sir, I am from uh, Bidar Horticulture College. Very good. Thank you so much. So kind of you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, participant can talk about other uh, sessions, sir. The general, in general, the day today, how you have felt, any value addition you feel. Tushar, you've been active, I think. Uh, Yes, Tushar, you can unmute. Yes, please. So I would like to start off by saying today was a very good uh, sessions. Now, overall, it was very good sessions. And the speakers that the, we were exposed to, all of them explained different problems that they have encountered in their life and in their entrepreneurial uh, growth. And uh, it was really nice to see that not everyone reaches there with a drop of a hat. Everyone goes through struggles and hurdles. And they are just teaching us ways in where we can also get over those hurdles because definitely we are also going to reach the like find hurdles in the way. So it was really nice uh, and very in like very informative session by with all the different speakers. And I especially would like to thank you, um, Banu sir, because it was very uh, it was very enthusiastic and very beautiful way of explaining the different aspects of uh, entrepreneurial growth and uh, skill development. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Anybody from other campuses? Sirsi, anybody is there from Sirsi? Anybody from Kolar, Sirsi, Arabavi? Yes, sir. Myself, Sandhya from College of Horticulture, Kola. Yes, Sandhya, uh, please. Good evening, sir, um, everybody. Uh, it was really very helpful and I would like to have it uh, a face to face interaction, but, but it was also very good and we, we got motivated. Really, it was very, very, very useful and uh, I would like to uh, visit other companies uh, for uh, like for my research also. Sir. I was uh, working on uh, 
a future and potential for, for small uh, small scale uh, family farmers and uh, in that i'm facing very very uh, like constraints in that so uh, to get solutions in this i would like to meet people in person and i would like to solve the problems it is really thank very you, helpful sir. thank you so much sir. thank you very much sandhya okay i would request people from other campuses also pitch in would like to have a representation from other campus also please anybody from bagal court Namaste, sir. Bagal Court in the Shilakshmi and the ah, Namaste, madam. Uh, sir, Berige in the Kelly do Yelano Yargadru, a bus student to get entrepreneurship last option. Agi Dre session in Muxcon Mela or the first option to go to Ranta help both Tumba Chanakita Sarela. Inspiration with two Mate burning desire to create Madito. Literally thankful for all of the people. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, we hope uh, so it stays for some time. So then anybody from Arabavi or Mansurabad, please. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, sir, I am Pratyaksha Mugra from College of Horticulture, Shirsi. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank our university and Manage Institute for arranging such a wonderful uh, sensitization program. So we, uh, we got a lot of information regarding the first generation entrepreneurship regarding startup and all. So it was really an informative uh, session. So I would like to thank all of you for ar arranging such a uh, good uh, informative uh, program. Sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Prateksha. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, please. Sir, you are in the program of full Namke helpful eyes, sir. You are in the Hello, sir. Ah, they are at very useful sir uh, some are giving uh, their own life on the the opportunity opportunity so much idea creation but the author is a you know what are the financial uh banking uh after a month um in information could the tumba useful i think in a year was sir today's a very um Wonderful, sir. Thank you, sir. Each and everyone, and also organizing committee, and uh, you, sir, and the university, and our lectures. Thank you, everyone. Hello. Yes, Prashant, please. Sir, uh, this is Prashant from College of Horticulture, Bagal. Uh, I have this uh, question that I need to address to Balu, sir. Uh, due to this network issue, I wasn't able to earlier. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Banu, sir, here. Yeah, please address. go ahead. I'm here. Sir, uh, what habits that you have adopted over the years helped you become more effective with your productivity, sir? Productivity, sir. Enhancing productivity. Uh, what uh, approach you have uh, done, sir? Uh, one is that, you know, meeting peer groups, uh, you know, when I was trying to meet so many people, we understood from the requirements, you know, the feedback from those uh, customers, clients gave a lot of uh, encouragement to us, actually. In fact, we used to counter sell them people, sir, one client has used this one, you know, we used to go back and tell them they have approached this model, you know, probably the other client might have used our product in a different way. So we used to share those uh, changes, you know, and we used to be very, uh, uh, give those, uh, you know, space to those customers, not that we're just selling it and dumping it and coming back at you. So our interactions, initial stages, we have a lot of personal interaction. Like somebody started, you know, uh, initially uh, uh, a lot of companies when they start, they go back and meet customers, client, meet the people, be there, stand there, view that positive things. You know, Airbnb, when they started, you know, they're all there. Ola, Uber, they mentioned that the vehicles, cars have come back until the system is established. So the initial stage is that is where uh, it gave a lot of confidence and you'll feel a lot of enthusiasm. Suddenly somebody says, okay, boss, you have a store, 
tomorrow morning come down mr banu i'll give you 10 more stores how that gives a lot of energy to me you know which come back and celebrate that is the celebration that is where you think i want to you remember sir so i think with this uh, we can uh, uh, enter to the next phase sir. please sir sir and sir yeah, thank you very much for all the feedback, uh, starting from Arpita, Sussar, Ayyappa, and Sandhya, Sri Lakshmi, Pratiksha, and uh, Devaraja and Prasanth. It's a good large number of women. We see la 25% of the women, they come for active startup server, but here, majority of the girl students are here, and uh, maybe it is motivation to all of you, and uh, I'm very thankful for those who are given feedback and all those who attended this training program. I hope everybody might be having some opinion, and you can always give whether positive or what else you require, or somebody, it is not necessarily those who are attending, you need to go for the some enterprise or startup. It is not necessary. Uh, still, you can give your opinion, and uh, those who are attended training, they might be having some idea today what is uh, startups and how to start and what people are, what are the ideas they are starting. There may be preliminary idea you might be having. Now we can build on because today is the startup. Everybody talks about startups. Startup is a big buzzword, not only in India, it is globally. But you are living in India. India is one of the vibrant startup ecosystem. They do in agriculture, we are putting it because there are uh, more than 70,000 startups in India. And out of 70,000 startups in agriculture, every eighth or ninth startups coming from India globally, they are telling. And we are posting globally third biggest startup ecosystem next to US and China, third biggest ecosystem. That's why uh, today is a passion, actually. A lot of people come with a lot of enthusiasm. Anybody will tell they will come a uh, startup idea. But we see some trend. Many of the students, they come from other agriculture, uh, engineering and other backgrounds, but not from agriculture background. Those who study agriculture, they are not really very keen on taking up uh, agri startups or agri business because uh, generally they will study for exams, uh, study for exams and they look for the jobs. But at least this type of awareness, at least uh, today some two students are attended, at least five of them you become entrepreneurs or startups, so you are thinking also we will be very happy because you are putting some new idea and there is a, seeing these five people and the next year there are a lot of people they may try for this type of taking new ideas, that's why. Those who attended this training program, not necessarily you need to start the agri startup or any agri business, but at least you can give some message to rural youth or farmers, anybody you can give because the government supports all the people, irrespective of education level, their age level, a lot of opportunities available for agri startups to start the, any new idea or agri business also. That's why at least those who undergone this training kindly give somebody needy people. If you are not starting, you can tell to others that will be very much useful. And uh, we will uh, we will try to keep you updated. And always, any questions, anything you can write to us. You are having all our email IDs. We also share the today all the presentations, all the speakers. Especially there are two uh, speakers, uh, Madam Sujata Rao, and uh, and also we have uh, Dr. Bonnery also. Uh, we we had interesting sessions, and also all other speakers are from only manage. They are in those. That's why you can always try to manage, and also we connect with uh, uh, Bonnery sir, and also Madam Rao, Madam. We will connect, and we'll be happy to help or support, facilitate any of the information. And again, some of the students may be selected for the uh, next phase of training. That will be conducted in uh, physically at uh, our own campus at Bagal Court. We'll be happy to meet you again. Our team will be meeting you, and we look forward for that. But uh, those who undergone training, and at least you can, uh, some of you can think for starting any startup, any information if you want, you can come to us. And somebody who are not interested in startup, that's fine, and you can look for uh, maybe scientists or uh, research jobs or faculty jobs or KBK or uh, departmental agriculture, agriculture officers like that, that's absolutely fine. But at least you take the startup messages to other rural youth or farmers, those who are interested people. Only one request I'm having with this, I thank University of uh, Particle Sciences Bagal Court, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor and uh, Coordinator of uh, this program, uh, Ravindra K. Mesta, and all the team members, and uh, Venila was there all along, and Ms. Venila, and all the team members, and also 
deans and uh, faculties, though, of those who are motivated or allowed the students to attend this training, and all the students, and also especially the uh, resource, all the resource persons, uh, I thank all of them on behalf of Manage, and we look forward to see you once again. And uh, you will be anytime you can write to us or you can, we may create the WhatsApp group also. Uh, always we'll post related information, agree like startup related ecosystem information. You can keep in touch with us. Uh, with this, I once again, all the best for all the students for your own future activities, future NDVS, and also those who are willing to start agri startup or agri business. We can uh, keep the, uh, always you can keep contact with us and we will try to facilitate support because RK, we are up with our agri business startups continuously, we are supporting and continuously we are advertising. Even currently, there is advertisement is on. Anybody having any innovative idea, you can apply for it and we will see for whether it we can improve for the next base of training also. Currently, also manage website, you can see there is a call for applications for uh, new ideas is already open up to July 31st, we'll be receiving. And anybody interested, you can uh, apply for that also. With this, all the best for all of you, and thank you very much. Uh, you, also, you can have anywhere so you can uh, complete here. Yeah. Any thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. would like to thank uh, all our uh, external resource persons, all our team members, our uh, Director General Manage, and uh, University of uh, Articulture Sciences. Vice Chancellor uh, Indresh sir and uh, the project uh, coordinator and PA for the project, uh, Dr. Raghavendra Meshta sir for happening, making this happen. Last but not the least, students who, who made this possible by your active participation. So, uh, and we thank our uh, Director of Agriculture Extension uh, sir also for uh, facilitating and everything, making sure it goes smoothly. We would look forward to, every, I request everybody to actively participate in the business plan competition, which is going to happen soon. The winners of the competition will be called for the training program at a bagel court. So for each campus, there is a certain representation is required and we'll make sure uh, there is a representative for uh, women entrepreneurs also. I'll please actively participate there. We'll try to arrange for a session how to participate uh, with uh, in collaboration with your college. Thank you very much for everybody. Have a great day ahead. Hello, Yuvraj. Yes, sir. You are there. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just came. Sorry. So, uh, good evening, uh, Dr. Saravanan uh, and Yuvraj and uh, yes, students. Yeah, uh, I missed most of the sessions today because I was busy in the meeting. I'm sorry, uh, but I could uh, hear the feedback from all the students. Uh, and very nice feedback uh, we received. And um, thank you very much for uh, arranging this very nice uh, agri startup ecosystem training program, opportunities and scope. Uh, just I wanted to inquire one thing, whether they are given that uh, business model plan to I mean what, what that has to be written and submission within no, a week. Sir, no, not yet, sir. No, sir. Okay. Uh, no. Because the number of students are less here. Eh? Okay. Uh, because only 80 of them are there. The other people might miss. It's better to mail them or send it through WhatsApp, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. Uh, uh, if required, we'll put a recorded video and uh, we explain it and send it to them, sir, how to do it. Okay, 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 fine, fine. Uh, that's nice. Okay, then once again, thank you. Thanks from University of Horticulture Sciences, Bagel Court, and uh, thanks to all the participants who have joined. And uh, this was a marathon session. Hope everything, I mean, what was it was a very useful session. Thank you. Thank you, Manish, for arranging such a wonderful session. Thank you. Thank you. With this note, we conclude today's program.